This is a demonstration of how to prepare a MassLink ribbon in loose tube cable, known as RILT, for jointing purposes. These are the recommended tools that you will need. Long nose pliers, approved G-type strippers, scissors, side cutters, tube cutter, wipes and alcohol cleaning pads. Make a cut around the sheath at a distance of approximately 100 millimeters from the end of the cable. Set the depth of the blade to ensure the rip cords and other elements beneath the sheath are not damaged. The tool can then be pulled along the sheath section to be removed. At the required distance along the cable, a second cut can be made. The distance to the cut will depend on the length of optical fibre ribbons required for termination or splicing. If the nylon sheath is unbonded, it may separate from the polyethylene sheath. Using long nose pliers, if required, carefully remove the cut section of the sheath to expose the two rib cords. It may be necessary to nick the sheath adjacent to the rip cords with side cutters to start the cut. Grip one rip cord with the long nose pliers and pull down to the second cut on the sheath. Hold the free end of the cable firmly to prevent buckling. Once again, remove the nylon if it is not bonded to the polyethylene sheath. Repeat the cutting process with the second ripcord. The two halves of the sheath can now be removed. Cut and remove the yarns, the helical binders and the wrapping tape. The cable core consists of colour-coded buffered tubes stranded around a central strength member, surrounded by water-swellable tape and additional yarns. Cut and remove the core binders without damaging the cable elements. The central strength member can now be exposed and cut to the required length with side cutters. Each tube may then be prepared by applying a circular cut with a tube cutter at the required distance. The correct blade depth will only score the tube, which may then be separated and removed by gentle flexing. Remove the excess gel with a soft, lint-free cloth by gently wiping the ribbons. Always wipe towards the free end to prevent buckling of the ribbons. Separate the ribbons and clean off all remaining gel with an alcohol wipe or equivalent approved cleaner. Following a visual inspection of the ribbons, the preparation process is now complete.